Hey, KS Services is now running their $59 fall tune-up special. Our team arrives on time and is always professional. Be sure your unit is ready for the cooler temperatures by visiting our website, callks.com today, and schedule your appointment. It's fast and easy. The weather's getting cooler and the days are getting shorter. Don't let the fall weather sneak up on you. Call us today. 205-322-9090, AL certification number 1112. This is your Weather Extreme video for Saturday, January the 6th, 2018. My first one for 2018, so Happy New Year. Before we start on the actual weather conditions, I want to bring you up to date on the Alabama Drought Monitor. And uh, unfortunately, drought has uh, raised its ugly head. You know, we were pretty bad off at the start of 2017, and uh, we got rid of it by June or so, but drought has come back since uh, November and December have been relatively dry. Our satellite image this morning shows clear skies over a lot of the southeastern U.S. with just some high cirrus clouds streaking uh, central uh, Mississippi and central Alabama. On the surface map, high pressure over Iowa, is making his influence felt, and that's keeping things rather cold over the eastern part of the country. That, in addition to the large trough uh, that is finally showing some signs of migrating a little further east and actually heading on out, so we should warm up nicely. Temperatures this morning starting out in the teens and lower 20s. Across central Alabama, we're generally uh, very close to the 20-degree mark with teens across the Tennessee River Valley. Watch warning map features uh, a lot of purple. Those are uh, winter weather advisories. The muted blues and the um, cyan colors you see are wind chill advisories, the cyan, and the muted are wind chill warnings. And then we have hard freeze uh, warnings down there in parts of Georgia and Florida. QPF-wise, we're looking at probably on the order of about a half to three quarters of an inch of rain uh, with the next system, primarily coming um, on Monday. Uh, maybe starting, well, starting late Sunday night, uh, probably after midnight. Uh, so it looks like most of the rain will be confined to Monday, and then another shot of rain is possible on um, Friday. But it looks like that uh, will uh, is beyond the, this five-day chart. The uh, Storm Prediction Center has nothing forecast for day one. For day two, those are the first thunderstorm uh, outlined areas that I think we've seen in probably nearly two weeks. And then we see uh, thunderstorms over Florida and the lower Mississippi River Valley as well as Southern California. All right, the Zer 60 GFS model run. And our trough is still in place, but it is beginning to move eastward. Uh, you remember it's been holding sway over the... Uh, eastern two-thirds of the country, and now it looks like it's about the eastern third. That's good. We can use the change. High pressure settling in uh, today over the Ohio River Valley area. By Sunday, the trough has moved off, and we're coming under weak ridging. Now, don't look for the temperatures to come up just real quick, but we should be probably in the uh, upper 40s as the high settles over the outer banks of North Carolina on Sunday. And that should return our flow uh, for the first time in weeks uh, back to the south, so we see some moisture uh, returning. That trough off to the uh, west of us moves closer on Monday, and so that looks like that's going to be our big day for rain. And uh, the GFS uh, is still um, keeping the possibility that we may see some wintry precipitation over northwest Georgia and, and maybe even a little bit of northeast uh, Alabama. It does look like this should be fairly short-lived, uh, and but it could result in some bridge icing Monday morning. Uh, but temperatures Monday are forecast to go above freezing fairly quickly, so it looks like that, again, will be a short-lived kind of event. That little trough digs into the Gulf, but we come under more ridging on uh, Tuesday. And, of course, uh, with uh, the surface high off to our uh, north there, we, uh, we should be nice, although the GFS keeping some minor chances in. I think Tuesday is going to be primarily dry. Wednesday, we have a nice ridge, but look what's coming out of the Four Corners area. We have a real, really uh, strong trough, uh, and that responsible for forming a closed low, a surface low uh, over eastern Colorado. And we're under uh, kind of a southerly flow with some moisture, so the GFS suggesting some chances for uh, some light rain. 
That trough opens up as the big impulse goes up into the Great Lakes, but the trough opens up, and uh, once again, it looks like we're facing a fairly broad, uh, cold trough. The uh, surface low moves over into the Great Lakes with a cold front stretching down into Arkansas and Louisiana on uh, Thursday. The trough moves closer on Friday, and I think that's the day that we have the primary chance. Probably Wednesday and Thursday, it'll be one of those you know, 20 30% chances of rain, uh, but we do see uh, chances probably picking up a little bit on Friday. And, of course, we do warm up. By then, the GFS is, uh, is painting pictures or printing out on the GFS moss is printing out highs in the 60s. Now, won't that feel good? We head into Saturday, and that little trough... Uh, begins to kind of uh, eject out of the southeastern U.S. as it weakens, but another one is coming in right behind it, and that one will dig in on Sunday. So once again, it looks like for Saturday and Sunday, we drop back into the 40s for highs. Now, we're getting out into voodoo country, but uh, the nice thing is by Tuesday, uh, the GFS is suggesting nearly a zonal flow across the U.S., and then by the time we reach the 19th of January, we're under a fairly strong ridge over the eastern half of the country with a deep trough uh, over the western part of the United States. And that deep trough doesn't come out until the 21st of January. And that looks like uh, that could be an interesting situation with the potential for maybe even some severe weather. That'll do it for the Weather Extreme video for this morning. I expect to have the next one posted first thing on uh, Sunday morning, at least by 7 a.m. or so. Thanks for tuning in. I hope that you have a great day. Enjoy the mostly dry weekend and certainly enjoy the, the slow warming trend. I'm meteorologist Brian Peters. Godspeed. AKS Services is now running their $59 fall tune-up special. The weather's getting cooler and the days are getting shorter. Don't let the fall weather sneak up on you. Call us today. 205-322-9090, AL certification number 11120.